Today in crypto, USIC released on Stellar throughout Coiny, ThorChain halts and resumes network. US EVM testnet goes live. OKX to apply for Hong Kong license. Get your daily, bite-sized digest of crypt asset and blockchain-related news investigating the stories flying under the radar of today's crypto news, payments news, crypto cash exchange Coiny and the Stellar Development Foundation, a non-profit organization that supports the development of the Stellar Network, today announced the release of the USC stablecoin on Stellar throughout the Coiny wallet and Coiny's global cash on-ramp and off-ramp ecosystem. Coinma's integration of USIC on Stellar promotes financial inclusion by enabling physical cash to become borderless digital cash accessible across thousands of locations nationwide, making it simple and affordable to cash in, cash out, send and receive USIC on Stellar, said the press release. The service is now live in the Coinme wallet accessible via web browser and is coming soon to the Coinme mobile apps on iOS and Android, it added. Security news. Cross-chain liquidity protocol ThorChain paused and unpaused its network due to new claims of a potential network vulnerability. Per a Tuesday brief, the team received credible reports of a potential vulnerability affecting ThorChain and halted it globally. Several hours later, they tweeted that they could confidently assume that no nodes can exploit the current vulnerability and as such the network trading has been unhalted. LP actions are resumed. Churn will remain halted pending a coordinated root cause fix. Blockchain news. A testnet for the EOS Ethereum virtual machine EVM feature went live this week ahead of the main at launch, which is slated for April 14. This is an exciting milestone for the EOS community, with the pending security audit being the only major milestone left before the EOS EVM mainnet beta is launched, the team said. BOCES, a blockchain optimized for the gaming community, announced that one of Japan's largest telecommunications operators, KDDI Corporation, officially joined its network of blockchain node validators. KDDI is the second Japanese tech giant to join the network following SoftBank's move in February. KDDI and SoftBank will join 21 other initial validators which comprise established brands from both traditional and blockchain gaming, including Sega, Bandai Namco Research, Ubisoft, Square Enix and Yield Guild Games, Router, Protocol, an infrastructure enterprise enabling communication between blockchains, today announced a first-of-its-kind cross-chain account abstraction model which makes it easier for users to interact with smart contracts across different blockchain networks. Per the press release without account abstraction, users would need to manage multiple accounts on different blockchain networks, each with their own set of technical requirements and specifications. Use cases include multi-chain dust collection, optimized cross-chain yield farming, and multi-chain Web3 usernames. Exchange News OKX said in a statement on Tuesday that it is applying for a virtual assets trading license in Hong Kong just two months before the city will officially make crypto trading fully legal, the South China Morning Post reported. Lennox Lai, the firm's managing director of Global Institutional, said during a media briefing in Hong Kong that OKX sees immense potential in the city and is willing to invest in talent and work with regulators over the next five years to continue building the local ecosystem. DeFi News Maker DAO, a DeFi lending protocol and creator of the DAI stablecoin, announced the approval of the Maker Constitution, which will gradually change the operations of Maker DAO, setting the conditions necessary for its roadmap, in-game era, to be implemented. For the announcement, in-game will enable Maker DAO to expand its money market investments in the short term and increase protocol. Revenue. By utilizing this revenue, MakerDAO aims to implement a mechanism to buy decentralized collateral such as ETH and staked ETH to reinforce the DAI backing, ensure its stability and maximize its level of decentralization in the long term. As Polygon announced its CK EVM mainnet beta, crypto startup Alchemy said that it was partnering with Polygon to equip EVM developers with the tools to start building zero-knowledge applications. Alchemy's infrastructure will be available for all builders on Polygon's EK EVM mainnet, it said, adding that a few categories of applications that should be particularly excited include DX's, Web3 games, and NFT marketplaces. Career news. Asset management giant Fidelity is building out its crypto research development team. Job openings, per its website, include a crypto and token research development team lead, as well as a crypto trading product owner and a principal Java engineer on the Wallet Blockchain Foundation team.